What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazik, aka Franchise Play, and I'm back on the mobile scene. Y'all know I dabble a little bit in the mobile game and especially anything that is sports related. And this today is Tops Bunt 2016. It's back. It was uh, actually here last year. I didn't actually get a chance to play it last year, to be honest, which I wasn't really aware of it. But it kind of came across. I noticed, actually, I originally noticed Mr. Hurricane playing it. And then I got wind of it a little bit after that. What it is, this is a digital trading card game that allows you to take the cards that you own and collect or whatever. And you earn points based on how the actual players in real life are performing on the field that day. So... It gives you a, it kind of, you know, captures the whole card collecting craze that is really taking over the, the gaming platform right now. This is uh, available on iOS and Android. But what it does is it gives you like a different way to watch the games, especially if you have like the MLB Extra Innings Pass or if you if you have, uh, you know, a cool cable um, set up where you can watch a lot of different games at one time. Or if you just kind of just keeping track of it next to your computer on the internet or whatever, and you're looking at the statistics, if you have your phone there and you have the, the, the you know, your car collection up, as you see, I'm building my car collection here. Um, and this is kind of the tutorial you can kind of follow around with a little bit. But, uh, and obviously you can tell that the Houston Astros superstar, uh, shortstop Carlos Correa is the cover guy. But if you got your pack of cards, right, or your virtual pack of cards, and they're on your phone, and you're watching, and you know you have Anthony Rizzo in the lineup, or you know you got Josh Donaldson in the lineup uh, of your cards, and you're seeing he's going for a two-homer game or whatever, as he scores those points, you're actually racking up points yourself in Topps Bunt 2016. So you're in these different contests. Uh, and it's it's a real cool way to blend in the car collecting concept with real sports, real like it's certain like a, it's blending car collecting and fantasy sports together. I guess is the best way to describe it. So they got some new features actually in Bunt 2016. You can do card exchange, so you can now trade cards and upgrade the cards without even needing a partner. Uh, there was a concept that I actually wasn't familiar with before called Smuggler's Den uh, for the top Star Wars card trading app. Now, they've actually uh, copied that concept or taken that concept and brought it to uh, over to Bunt 2016, which I think is probably a good fit for this because, let's face it, if you like me, you just kind of caught wind of Tops Bunt. You may not have a bunch of friends yet who you can trade with, but with some, with this particular feature, with the card exchange, you don't have to have that. Uh, you don't have to have a whole list of friends that are up, that are playing Tops Bond 216, 2016. You can do it yourself. There's different player levels, which I definitely did recognize. Um, if you look on the back of your cards when you get them, you just double tap the screen and you can flip the card. You'll see uh, you see the cards are flipped there as I'm building this trade. You can see the different characteristics of the card. You'll see on some of them they'll have 1x or 1.5 or 1.2. Those are the multipliers. They talk about um, like how the points are at, how the points accumulate for what they're doing in that particular day. So obviously, if you get a card that has a higher multiplier, it's going to be more um it's going to be more valuable to your deck or your your virtual lineup so then there's also the base cards um you can get twice as many of the favorite players that you had from 2015 with the base card parallels for each player uh you get really cool scoring updates in this screen you see right here is kind of like the home screen so you can go to the store using your coins that you accumulate um, from contest, you actually started off. I, I believe I started off with, here with twenty-five thousand coins. So you can go there to buy packs. Here's where you can trade. Uh, then you can jump into the card contest and also do the card exchange. Here's some contests that are available right now. I went ahead and I got in this uh, American League only contest, which I probably shouldn't have because my absolute team is the Cubs. So I probably should have. Got something that I could, you know, got in the National League only one. But you can't go with your heart on these things. Your heart says Cubs, but you got to go for what really, what's going to work for you. So this starter pack here, by pretty much everybody's going to get Carlos Correa. And you see the back of his card there. Jacob DeGrom is another card that came in there. 
Um, all of these are 1x points. Uh, CC Sabathia, Neil Walker. Uh, so you can see as I'm flipping through these cards, some of them don't have the pictures on the front yet, but I'm quite sure that can be updated and added at a later date. I don't, sure, I don't know if that's the plan, but uh, nonetheless, it doesn't have to be a plan because if you're racking up these points, you are racking up these points. So for me personally, I think, you know, as a baseball fan, a lot of people don't realize this about me, uh, you know, who are familiar with my channel. Baseball was actually my first love, and I remember... Uh, having a pretty good baseball collection, baseball card collection, and it was like super cool. Like my first year um, with uh, collecting cards, and I always wanted tops because we, you know, my cousins who introduced me to baseball cards, and he taught me early on that if it's not tops, then it's probably not as cool of a card. So I, um, the first year I had, I'm about to tell y'all kind of how far back I go. I believe it was an 87 car, 87 tops cards edition, and the card looked wooden, so it was kind of like like a bat, right? And I believe, if I'm not, I could be wrong here, but I want to say that was the year of Barry Bonds rookie card on tops. I could be wrong. I think it was. I, I didn't have it. I was like, I wanted to get it afterwards because I was gonna be at the time. I didn't realize it was gonna be all that great. But I wanted it at the time. So I go way back with the whole car collecting thing. So this, being able to have this and having that thrill of opening up these packs like I'm doing right now. I just got this Josh Donaldson with a plus 205. Kevia Sampson's is plus zero. Uh, Kevia Sampson, but, you know, it is whatever that Josh Donaldson was, was the business. But being able to just collect the cards like this from a virtual standpoint is really cool. And then having it have the stats from that day accumulate and add an enjoyment to it makes it like takes it to another level so it's a cool way to watch the game you know if you really get into this app and you get some friends and stuff to play with it's a cool way to watch the game i'm gonna probably try doing it once or twice and you know you guys let me know what you think about this uh about this game is this something that you would like to see me play more uh, more of, you know, uh, you, if you're familiar with Topps Bunt 6 2016 and you have some tips for me, I absolutely welcome them. Drop those in the comment section for me. Uh, also, if you, like I said, if you want to continue to see Topps Bunt 2016 videos, like it, like this video, like it up, get it shared, get it out there. And I appreciate you watching. God bless. Peace.